Hello, welcome to Avio's Journey. Happy Wednesday. I'm glad to be coming back and talking to you today about facing challenges. This is something that we all go through on a regular basis, and some of us uh, are going through some really tough challenges right now. And I, I wanted to take a video to talk about it and kind of share with you maybe a few tips to help you get through the challenges if you're going through it. Today's quote comes from Robert Frost, the only way out is through. I know we've heard this. I love this quote because I think that it, to me, epitomizes the idea of a VO's journey and the fact that, you know, we go through challenges, we go through tough times, but together as a community, I'm going to add that in there, <laughs> together as a community with the VO's Journey Lead Academy, you know what I mean? We work together and we get through it and we get through it by going through. So I, I want to kind of talk to you today, if you are struggling, if you're having um, some tough times, you know, if you feel like no matter what you do, you can't <laughs> move forward. You're not getting work. Maybe there's some tough things happening in your relationship right now with someone. Maybe work starting back up. Many of the voice actors I work with are teachers. I love teachers. I was a teacher. I work with a lot of teachers who are voice actors as well. School starting. Our kids are getting our kids ready to get back to school. Economy's not the greatest. There's a lot of tough things going on right now. And I, I, I think that this business, our voiceover business, is a bright spot in our lives. It's something that keeps us going. It's something that we feel is the answer to a lot of the maybe heartache or dreams or challenges that we're having. And it's really important to us. <laughs> I think that anything worthwhile, though, is hard. It has to be hard. If it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be worthwhile. And because it's hard, challenges come up. Struggles, obstacles, work droughts, you know, can't get a job, uh, can't figure out my DAW. Why does my audio sound that way? I need a new equipment, but I don't have the money right now. There's always something. I need to work on this project, but I don't have time. I need to, to send out these emails, but I've got to get the kids ready for bed. I need to learn this new skill, but I need to go and make dinner. I need to go to work. I need. There's so many obstacles. So I want to kind of share with you what I go through when I'm hit with obstacles like that, which I have to be honest with you, there has been a bunch this summer. And it feels like this constant tug of energy. And I don't know about you, but a lot of times I feel like, gosh, wouldn't it be nice to just give up? Isn't that crazy to say out loud to just, you know, stop what I'm doing and you know, quit for at least today <laughs> or, or just give it a break. There's, there's that constant pull. I don't know if you feel it. I mean, this summer, this summer has been tough. I think that for me, when that happens, I make sure first that I stop, I take a step back. I take a step back and I evaluate. So I think the first thing you've got to do when you're struggling with that is you need to really f step back and evaluate what is happening or where you are with your business. I find that putting down on paper what I'm actually doing, what I'm accomplishing, what's going on in my business, what I've done actually helps a lot because I think emotionally, I think our emotions be betray us a lot. They, I think, swirl around in our heads over and over to the point that it makes us blind to what is actually happening in our business. There's a lot of, uh, we, we have a lot of success. It might not be the success as fast as we want it, but we're having success. And that success could mean I got those auditions done. I got a callback. Somebody messaged me. They might be interested in working with me. Those are all successes. Again, it might not be 20 jobs in your queue success, but they are the starting point to successes. However, our emotions the timing, the struggle of being imposter, all of these things stack up and it makes it very difficult to see over them to see the success. 
So evaluate where you are, write it down, take a step back and, and give a proper picture of where you are right now. I think that's the first thing to do. Second thing to do is lean on your goal. Lean on your goal and then let's break it down into small pieces to reach that goal. So what do I mean by lean on your goal? First off, you should have a goal. <laughs> and I want you to think of goals, and this is how I started to think of them. We all have those pie-in-the-sky goals. But if you think about it, we are never going to ever reach all of our goals and then quit. Because if we did that, our lives would be over. I'm trying to myself accept the fact that there's always going to be another step. There's always going to be another mountain to climb. And, you know, I hope there is. Because without a mountain to climb, where am I going? Nowhere. And I, I think that, to me, that's something that we should strive for, is always trying to climb a mountain. So breaking that mountain down, though, into manageable steps is our next key. Of course, you've got to have a goal. And the goal needs to be at least manageable. Your goal could be to get your first job. Your goal, your goal could be to get three jobs a week. Your goal could be to earn a certain amount of money. But the thing about earning money is... I want to break that down into actionable things or you know, actionable activities that we can actually take to reach that money goal because the money goal lags behind the actions that we take. So it's hard, you know when we measure money, which we have to, the the money measurement is it's over. Once we measure it, there's there's nothing we can do to affect that change. So we want to work on measuring the current things we can affect, like, for example, auditioning, making new demos and putting them up, sending emails, building out your website, building a social media presence, reaching out to new possible clients, building relationships, doing things, taking specific actions on a daily basis to reach that goal. So when we have that goal, we need to break those down into manageable parts. And those manageable parts could be like one, two, three, four. I mean, we don't want a terrible number. We don't want a big number to do because that's going to take or, or that's going to be overwhelming. So we want to really you know, create a goal that we can reach so that when we reach that goal, we make another goal and we make another goal. So again, we the, the, the second thing here is to break that down into manageable parts. Could be auditioning on a daily basis. That could be the manageable part that you do. You try to get one audition done a day. Then you try to get two auditions done a day. Then you try to get three auditions done a day. And that is your goal. The work, the money, they are a byproduct of you reaching your activity goals. Please remember that. Don't flop it. Don't flop it. Don't wait to earn money in order to do more work. It's like the immutable law of sowing and reaping. You have to sow in order to reap. So in this case, we have to give. We have to do auditions. We've got to put up more profiles and gigs. We've got to reach out to more people. We've got to sow. We really got to sow in order to reap those benefits. Without sowing first, there is no reaping. So think of it that way, and you can put those into manageable parts by starting with something small and then just slowly working up. And be proud of yourself. That is a success because the activities themselves is what changes your life. The habit of those activities that you create will change your life. I think people think that money, fame, all of that changes someone's life. I don't think so. I personally think it's the habits that you create along the way that change your life. Because when all that other stuff is gone, when the lights are out, when there's no one around or when there's nothing going on, the habits that you're left with are who you are. We are what we do. So please remember that and don't get too hard on yourself. Don't get down on yourself. Step back, evaluate where you are, 
be proud of yourself for those successes. And the successes are you building positive, actionable habits. That's success. Because those habits will carry you well beyond anything. After all of the hoopla is gone, those habits are what make all the difference in the world. Imagine if you could take the emotion out of everything that you do and look at your life as a series of actions. Devoid of that emotion, we don't want to ever lose our emotion, but for this hypothetical game, if you will, uh, let's think about it. Move those emotions aside. Look at your life in a timeline of actions. Those actions define what you do, how your life turns. Now, you would argue that your actions can be somewhat dictated by your emotion. But if you're a person like me who loves to play experimental games with what if scenarios, you know, what if success was literally a series of predetermined actions that you could flip through in a book. And you said, if I take this action and I take this action and I take this action, these are the outcomes. Interestingly enough, those exist everywhere in every bookstore, online, <laughs> on my videos, those exist all over the place. Our emotions, our struggles, those obstacles, that's what makes it difficult to take those actions consistently and habitually. So by looking at that, you start to begin to think, wow, I really, there is really a plan for success step by step. But sometimes my emotions, my feelings betray me and they cause me to want to stop, to say, well, I just don't need to do it this time or eh, I'll worry, I'll we'll do it tomorrow. Oh, it's, I'm too busy. All of those things cause the problems or the obstacles that we experience. So I hope <laughs> that today's video uh, talking about facing your challenges has given you some food for thought and helps you to break down those challenges into manageable pieces and really push yourself to new heights by focusing your mind and your efforts on measuring the successes of day-to-day -day activities in the hope of creating positive habits. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I was really on it today. <laughs> that felt, felt good. Hopefully that helped out. Uh, and uh, as always, we'd love to have you at a VOS Journey Lead Academy. Check us out. Great community. Um, all of us feel the same way. So have a wonderful Wednesday, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.